I know you think my hair looks crazy, but it's not. This is my natural hair. This is my natural being. This is who Chidera really is. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing the power of makeup with the 24 hour makeup challenge. So I'm going to be slaying my face to the gods. And then after that, I'm going to be wearing my makeup for 24 whole hours. I got the idea from Jackie Aina's last video. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be talking during throughout this video because I want you guys to fully understand the products that I'm using. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't have any waterproof foundation, but I will be using like 5,000 primers just so that the makeup would stay. God have mercy, I'm about to ruin my skin. So, let's get started. I'm going to be using two primers and the one that I'm going to be using is the NARS Oil Free Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Please, oh, I forgot to say this. Please excuse the laughing and talking in the background. And then the other one, of course, is my new favorite one. And this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless SPF Bronze Tint. I'm afraid going to be putting the NARS one on. She's try she sounds like she's trying hot. She's trying. Now I'm going to be doing the Too Faced Prep, um, Primed and Poreless. I like this primer because you know how some primers, they make your face look white and ashy, like they dry ashy. This one has like a bronze tint, so when you do put it on, and then you put your foundation, it's not gonna be as much of a difference. And I just like the fact that it's tinted, and I feel like that just adds to the effect of the product. You see, it looks like I don't have primer on, but I do, but it's a bronze tint. I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows now with the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. In my opinion, I feel like the Precisely My Brow is better than the Anastasia Brow. Because the fact that Anastasia Brow is, it kind of looks ashy after you put it on in a sense. And it's, it's harder to draw it on, whereas the Precisely My Brow is slick and smooth like butter. Okay guys, I just bought a new concealer. And it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This sucker, I've been waiting to try it. It works very well. It's really nice, I've heard. And I'm about to use it for the first time. Hope you guys enjoy. I put this much on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The color concealer that I am using is Amande. Amande? Amande? Amande. I should say it like that. Amande. That's the color I'm using. And I like this because it's like a good concealer. It's close to my skin tone, but it's not my skin tone. So I like to use this one. And Let me stop before I mess them up. Now I'm going to blend out the concealer underneath my eyebrows with my NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation Color New Orleans. This is my favorite foundation. This is the only one I use. I do have the MAC one, but that MAC one is kind of heavy, and I only want to wear it if... It's like a one night thing, but I don't think I want to wear it for a 24 hour challenge. I'm going to be putting foundation all over my face and the sound, I'm going back in with my NARS foundation, the New Orleans uh, uh, Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I'm going to put it on my face now. Um, the two concealers I'm going to use to highlight and contour my face is my NARS my NARS Amande Concealer, the new one, my baby. Now I'm going to be going in with my other LA Girl Concealer, color Mahogany. And now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it out. Now I'm going to be going in with my Tarte uh, Translucent Powder. Smooth, I'm a, she's a smooth operator. I'm going to be using this uh, translucent powder to set underneath my eyes. I'm not going to big because I don't like that anymore. It makes me look ashy and I'm not ashy. Now I'm going in with a bigger brush and I'm going to set my whole entire face. My entire face. Before I forget, I set my eyelids as well with powder. Because when I do put on my um, eyeshadows, I don't want it to look like... I don't want my eyeshadow to crease, so I put this powder first so it my eyeshadow stays and that it won't crease. Now I'm going to be going in with my MAC Blunt Blush and I'm going to use it to contour my face. So powder contour now. Um, what am I going to do now? Oh, now I'm going to be doing my eyes. My favorite part. 
Let me zoom in. Ooh, wow. <gasps> this is so cool. The two palettes that I'm going to be using, they're both Morphe palettes. I'm going to be using the 35 OM, and I'm going to be using the 35 OS. I'm going to be doing a bronzy, a goldish look. Now with a smaller tapered brush, I'm going to go in with a darker color, and I'm going to go in with this one. Now, from the 35OS, from the 35OS palette, I'm going to use a gold color and put it on the lid of my eye. Now I'm going to use a blending brush and bring the gold out so it goes outwards, you know? Ooh, you see, it's subtle, but not too much. I don't want to do too much, you know? I just want something simple. Now, for the eyeliner. So I'm going to be using two different eyeliners. I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Black Ink Eyeliner Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. Then, I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay. Skinny. But first, I'm going to draw the wing out with this, the Bobbi Brown eyeliner. I find it easier when I draw my wing out with the brush than using the um, pen, kind of, that this one has. You know what I mean? Now with my Revlon Color Stay eyeliner, I'm going to get the inner parts, well, the inner corner of my eye from here, and then darken it up. I'm going in with a flat brush, and I'm making my eyeliner straight, so it looks sharp as a knife. Time for my eyelashes. I'm gonna be using this sucker. This is from Essence. I actually really like this mascara. It was only like five dollars. It was cheap. It wasn't even that expensive. It's the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Wet n Wild Charcoal Eyeliner. I'm gonna be going in with black on my waterline. Now for my eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Eyelure Dramatic Lashes. And the glue I'm using is Star Glue. Eyelash adhesive. You can get one of these from like those those Asian boutique stores, those little Asian stores. That's where I got it from. Here. So now, we are going to highlight with my MAC Gold Deposit, my 5 hour card. For my lips, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Root. I usually do not go for dark colors with reds like this, but let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and for the final step, I'm going to be setting all of my makeup with the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. But I really like the setting spray, and it better last me all night. It better last me 24/7. <sighs> More. This is gonna be on my face for 24 hours. <clears throat> this was also the power of makeup. Uh, I'll be right back so I can do my hair because my hair is not going to stay like this. Even though I do like my natural hair, it's not going to stay like this. I will be back. I'm back. This is the final look. I think I beat my face pretty good, actually. I really like this red lip. I was scared about it and everything. Um, right now, I have a wig on. I made this wig. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is the final look. This is it for the power of makeup part of the challenge. And then for the other one, the 24 hour, right now it is 6.43. So I'm going to set my alarm till 6.43 tomorrow. And let's see how this makeup looks. God be with me, I'm going to ruin my skin. Oh my goodness. But um, I'm excited to see what you guys think about this look that I did create, that I did do. I like it. I like the overall look. I look pretty bae as fake. <laughs> so this is part one of the my video and then part two will be coming up next. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned, like, subscribe, and tell others about my channel. Thanks for watching.